Rogue Wing, Carline, or Helen RD over at Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. Alright, nothing too special this time around. Just your basic primer coat. Got it all covered in nice gray paint. As you can see, the armor does stand out fairly well. Once the primer's dry, flip her over. Start doing the base coat of actual color, which in this case is probably going to be my favorite of late, Tester's Graphite Dust. All right. Base coat's on her now. As you can see, I went with the Graphite Dust. Gives a nice, dark metallic look to the model. Did have a couple of problems with the bottom of it. Right there on the leading edges of the wings. At this point I'm probably not going to try to, ordinarily I'd sand it off, but I don't have a replacement set of the masks and any sanding I do will destroy those. So, gonna have to let that kind of ride as it is. As you can see, my caffeine shaking hands. The masks give a nice subtle texture to the model. Now all I have to do is figure out what I want to do detail paint and marking wise for. Her. Probably use a combination of the kit decals and some just regular paint. All right. Markings are done, paint's done. At this point, I'm calling the build done. One, Klingon Deathbird. I do have a slight alignment problem with the nacelles, but that's what I get for lining up off the body instead of lining up off the, off the boom. But, all in all, she turned out pretty good. A couple of details got taken care of here. The impulse engines I went in first painted with a base of white to make the red pop. And then went in with an acrylic red. All the grill work got a little black wash to help accent it. On the nose, I went in and hand painted the raised panels around the, no the photon tubes. The decals are from the stock kit. Admittedly, <laughs> the bird you see on the wing is actually for the Romulan version, but I thought it would look good on this. All in all, she is done. <laughs>